So if you're anything like me when shooting on the EOS R, you've seen that little HDR icon that's grayed out and you try to figure out exactly what other settings that you need to put into this camera to be able to make that little icon not grayed out. Like, how do you freaking turn it on? There's literally like nothing online. I found one video after hours and hours of searching teaching how to do it. And I know I'm not the only one that wants to learn how to do this. So today, this is what we're gonna do and teach you how to use the HDR video mode on your ESR. So to use the HDR mode, we need to set the movie record quality to full HD in either 25 or 30 frames a second in IPB mode. Then we need to make sure the digital IS is disabled. Make sure that Canon log is off. And now you're about to see that the HDR off icon is actually white. And then we turn it on, we can see that the frame rate, compression and digital IS buttons get grayed out but everything else works exactly the same. So the idea behind HDR video is basically it takes two different exposures and it merges the image together to give you more dynamic range and a richer looking image. Now the limitations in this mode are quite big. The main ones are that you can't use digital IS and you have to shoot in that full HD IPB codec. An IPB mode in full HD only gives you 30 megabit per second, which is not a whole lot especially when you're trying to add all this extra dynamic range and colors. And the other downside is that you can't push your shutter speed past one over 1000 either. Now we're looking at the footage, you can see that it's recovering the highlights way better, but on the edges of the trees and buildings where there's fine details, it starts to look a little bit funky. Now if we were to compare this to just shooting in C-Log, which will allow us to use way less compressed formats, and shoot in 4K and also use like digital IS and all those other functions. You can see the difference between the graded C-Log and the HDR footage isn't actually that much at all. Properly exposed C-Log footage will look way better than the HDR footage, mainly because you're gonna have way less compression and you also have way more control in post on how you want the actual image to look. The main thing to keep in mind when shooting in C-Log is to not clip your highlights. It's not always possible to not clip highlights, but when you can avoid it, then always, always do. The best way to find out if you are clipping your highlights is to press the info button until the histogram pops up. And then you're looking on the right side to see if there's a line or not. If there is a line on there, it means that you have clipped some sort of highlights and those highlight areas are just gonna be pure white and have no information in there whatsoever. So if you do avoid clipping your highlights in there in C-Log, the final footage is just gonna turn out way, way nicer. Now for me personally, the HDR mode in the EOSR is something that I would not be using. Maybe in future updates or future releases of cameras when it's a little bit better and allows you to not have to compress the footage so much. If you did find this video helpful, then consider liking and subscribing. And if you know someone that has an EOSR, then be sure to share this with them because I'm sure they've been scouring the internet try to figure out how to turn on this HDR mode as well. And as always guys, stay creative and just be you.